Sabrina, you are lying to this poor woman. And that's the problem. When you have scientists that you listen to, you have plastic surgeons, dermatologists, skincare professionals, and they're telling you shit like this? Wow! I looked at my skin and I just felt, you know what, I'm not gonna do too much today. I'm gonna be home all day, but I am gonna use my ice cream because I deal with puffiness all the time and it really is having a great effect on my skin since I've been using it really regularly this week and a couple times I used it at night. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use my ice creamer. I don't need to wash my face today. My face is really super clean, super deep cleaned, and really hydrated from all the week's work. I gave my skin an incredible workout this week and I can't wait to do the before and after for, I don't know, seven or eight days what I've been doing. And we'll see if there is any improvement. But today what I wanted to talk to you about is that I went back and I did this video on the genetic aging of Jennifer Aniston. And what I believe is that she is going to eventually have the exact same aging that her father had. And, um, and, I, and I do this because I just wanna show you that if anybody had a beautiful skincare program that absolutely minimize the sign of aging, it would be someone like Jennifer Aniston. She's probably 53 right now. So. Okay, so this was a year ago that I made this video, and here is a clip, and I just wanna play this clip for you, because my husband and I went back this morning and reviewed the clip, and oh my God, this feels so good. But at the end of this video, it's really interesting, and I never even noticed it before, but Jennifer Aniston, Ask the scientist, Sabrina, if she used a vino, if in one day it would stop the dryness or it would make her skin healthy or if she put it on her dry skin, would it make her skin healthy in one day? And Sabrina said, well, yes. And I'm like, Sabrina, you are lying to this poor woman. And that's the problem. When you have scientists that you listen to, you have plastic surgeons, dermatologists, skincare professionals, and they're telling you shit like this? It's like, give me a break. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, Jen. Hi, so you're the scientist here. Does my Aveeno Daily Moisturizer really make my dry skin healthier in one day? It's true, Jen. Really? This prebiotic old formula moisturizes to help prevent dry skin. Impressive. Aveeno, healthy. It's our nature. Putting Aveeno on dry skin will, it's impossible, will not make it healthy in one day. If that was the case, everybody in the world would be putting a vino on and they would have extremely healthy skin. What's the point of using anything else? I'm like, give me a break. This is marketing at its finest. Having Jennifer Aniston behind killer filtered cameras asking this question in her beautiful image. Of course, in that beautiful hair. But what I'd like to talk about is actually the continued aging of Jennifer Aniston. And in the video I did a year ago on Jennifer Aniston, I'm gonna talk about my anti-aging. What in my skin from a year ago has changed and what has become another sign of aging? So, when we pulled up some of the images, and I'm gonna show you this image of Jennifer Aniston, and in this image, this is 2023, because we wanted something current. In the first video, I talk about how she only had two wrinkles on the side of her face, now she has three, because her father has three. And one of my points of this video that I did on her was that she, she has exactly the same wrinkling and skin aging as her dad has, exactly. It's, it's so uncanny that she is her father's daughter. 
But anyway, she has, she also has this separation and this going on right here in her face and it's going to bring her chin forward and then right here is going to be very saggy. It will be very saggy. So she's already getting the weakening of the skin right here. And um, so I'm going to go into some detail on her aging and in, in a later video, I'll do it. I'll do it in a later video, but I just wanted to show that in that year that I did that video, she has aged exponentially. She's aging too fast and I have barely aged at all. So when you compare the two and she is only 53 and I am almost 70, she is not practicing anti-aging. She does not have the right skincare plan in place to fix her skin. And Nobody's addressing the foundational issues of her skin. And a lot of the repair in her skin cannot be repaired with plastic surgery, but she, I'm sure she's gonna try, but whatever. I just, it, I just wanna prove my point, that it doesn't matter who you are, and it doesn't matter what is available to you. Practicing anti-aging is so different than having a regular skincare plan like, like Jennifer Aniston has and having the best, the may, maybe in her mind, the best skincare, the best professionals taking care of her skin. It doesn't always work that way. Anyway, boy, that, that ice cream felt really good. I'm gonna get back to my skin and <clears throat> talk about my day. I don't have much going on. But in that video, I want to show you that in that video, in my skin, I am just a little puffier right here than in that video. But actually, I think my neck looks better today than it did back then. And if you look at the 11 in the video, it was longer. It's not as long now. And this is my new repair. And I knew I have been working on this 11 for four years and I did it is 50% gone and that's what I talk about in repairing the damage it will still take me a while but it is almost going because there are some days that I can wake up and it's not even there so I am hopeful that I am going to get rid of that and so I'm very excited about that but now all I'm going to do is just put my skin water on and I'm going to be done for the day I'm not going to be um, doing too much to my skin until maybe tomorrow. So there you go. And you know, I gotta leave this on about 10 to 15 minutes or 15 minutes to 20 minutes. I don't know until it absorbs. And then once it absorbs, let's see what we get. Okie dokie. There you go. I'll be back. Okay, here it is. You can see that the skin water is now absorbing so nicely in my skin. And we're just gonna gently remove the excess. And that's the way skin water should work. It should almost disappear in your skin. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Oh, I still got some on there. Okay, so let, anyway, let's take a look at it because I want to get a good picture so I can compare. Here you go. Here's my skin. After working it out for seven or eight days, I'm not quite sure how many days I've been working on it. But there you go. And one of the things I just want to make mention um, and closing here is that Jennifer Aniston is going to follow a regular skincare plan that won't even minimize her signs of aging no matter what she does. And I will continually practice anti-aging and practicing anti-aging will deliver fantastic results for me and keep my skin youthful and what I call ageless. Anyway, 
Thank you for watching. I hope you come back and enjoy my videos. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.